People often neglect the risks and dangers and download pirated content to save some money. In this video, I will show you by downloading some cracked software if they are safe or risky. What is piracy? Before going into much detail, let's understand piracy. Piracy is when someone distributes, shares, or sells a piece of content or software illegally. The premium software comes with a license, which you have to purchase to use that software. However, few people use their skills to crack the software so that it can be used without the need for a license. Then the software is uploaded on the internet so that others can use the same. The makers of software don't get paid what they deserve. The piracy turns out to be a disappointment for them. Let's understand how software crackers are paid, what's in it for them. When software is pirated, it is uploaded to the website for others to download. These websites run several advertisement campaigns that generate money. The other method to generate money is through bundling other software with the crack. The bundled software is PUP, which no one wants to install willingly. They don't disclose properly that there is some bundled software. Usually, this software hijacks the settings of your browser, changing your search engine to its own so that it can record your search history and browsing history. This data is being sold to others to generate more money. The bundled software might transmit your data, but this is not limited. Most pirated software online is bundled with malware. The malware is capable of recording your keystrokes. It might track your password, credit card details, and other sensitive information. Now let's download some pirated software and see if they are genuine or come with malware. Here on Google, I am searching for a popular game, though it is outdated, but one of my favorites, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 Crack. Something to warn you, I am downloading this crack on my virtual PC and I am aware of the danger. You should not do that. I am experimenting just for you to see and stay aware. I am opening this first website. Well, here are so many advertisements, and this is the download button. Let's click on it. It is redirecting to some other page. This page contains even more ads. Let's close this pop-up, and then this triggers the download. The website wants you to see the ads and close the ads so that they can get some revenue. The download is a compressed RAR file, which I need to extract by entering the password mentioned on the website. If we look at the extracted file, it is an executable file. If we check its properties, we can see there is a digital signature mentioned for this file. This is obvious as this file is cracked. Now let's check what Virus Total says about this file. Only two engines are detecting it. Let's run this file. If I check the Process Explorer, it shows nothing. The file seems genuine. Then you might ask why Virus Total is detecting it. Security experts don't want to go into much detail inspection. They see a software crack and just mark the hash as a patch or crack. This file doesn't have any injected Trojan. It just bypasses the CD key check process when the game loads. We have another crack of Norton Internet Security. Let's download and check if it is safe or not. It seems that the download button is not here. Let's click on this crack plus setup button. It is redirecting to some other site. After a few clicks, I got this link of Mediafire. Let's copy it open in a new tab and note down the password. The file name itself seems suspicious. I had trouble extracting it, but after several attempts, it got extracted. Let's check this setup file on Virus Total. No antivirus engines are detecting this file. So at this time, this installer seems safe, so let's install it. After installing, I ran the Process Explorer. Here are a couple of entries. So I ran TCP view to check if the program is making any foreign connections. Here is the entry it is trying to connect to this remote IP address. As you can see now, Windows Defender is also detecting it as a dangerous program and claims that it executes commands from an attacker. Initially, no antivirus engines were detecting this program as unsafe, but after executing, it turns out to be dangerous malware. However, 
The first crack that appeared unsafe on VirusTotal doesn't contain malware. You cannot be certain which crack is genuine and which one contains malware, not until it is too late. Some pirated software uses Keygen that only generates the keys. There shouldn't be any problem with them, but the Keygen application itself might be compromised. The websites from where you download the pirated software itself contain several redirections, push notification scams, and malicious links. If somehow you beat them, you can't be certain whether the crack is safe or not until you install them. So, you should stay away from piracy. That's it for this video. If it does help you, press the like button and share it with your friends. We keep uploading videos related to computer security, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.